Hey, this is Rod from Ram City, and today we're going to be doing a RAM upgrade in my 2011 MacBook Pro. Now the procedure today is the same for the 2010 upwards MacBook Pros, and the great thing about uh, this system is that Apple say you can only upgrade it to eight gigabytes of RAM, which is how much I've got in my one at the moment, but actually you can go up to 16 gigabytes of RAM. So, and that's true for a lot of Apple systems. You can actually upgrade them to a double what Apple say that you can do. So the tools that you'll need today to do your upgrade are your anti-static mat, a wrist strap, so you can keep everything electrostatic free. I've got a um, iFixit 54-bit driver kit, so I'm just going to use the PH00 screwdriver from that kit. And you'll obviously need your RAM upgrades. So these are from Kingston, and you can also pick up crucial brand ones from RAM City as well. Flip your MacBook Pro over. And we need to remove the 10 screws that are around the edge of the bottom of the case so that we can get it the uh, memory access. Notice how the, uh, the screws on this end are the long ones. So I'm gonna keep them in the same position. All right, so let's take the bottom of the case off. These are the, this is the existing RAM that's in the machine. So to remove the existing RAM, all we do is we pull apart the two clips that hold the RAM in. Once it's popped up, you can then just gently wriggle it out. There's one module. Now the bottom one is a little trickier. So there's a separate clip, two clips that hold the bottom one in. If you spread them apart, it will pop up. And then you've got to spread apart the top ones then as well to let the memory module pop up. And once again, wriggling gradually, only holding the RAM by the edge. Don't ever touch the um, gold fingers here because um, that can result in an improper contact and it can damage the modules. It's better just not to do that. All right, so we'll put the new modules in. Um, I should point out this case is anti-static as well. So it's better just to leave the module in the case until you actually need it. The modules can only go in one way. You see how they've got this little um, slot here, which is off center. And that equates to the uh, guide here, which is also off center. So as long as you line them up, you can't go wrong. So I'm just putting it in the bottom slot first. You've really got to wriggle in, make sure it's firmly in, and then gently push down on the module, on the edges as much as you can, until it's clipped in. Now, I'm not actually really confident that that's clipped in properly, so I'm going to pop it out again. And just give it a good wriggle in. All right, so it's got to be really firmly seated. And we do the same with the next one. So once again, just holding by the edges, line the module up with the guide slot, push down and you should get a firm click. All right, so now the modules are installed, we need to put the lid back on. Well, it's actually not the lid, it's the bottom of the case. Now that I've got the, the bottom of the case back on, it's time to put a, the screws all back in. Just gonna open it up and power the machine back on. And if everything has gone well, we should have 16 gigabytes of RAM. Here we go, 16 gigabytes, excellent. And that's our 16 gigabyte RAM upgrade to a MacBook Pro 2011 model complete. And you can pick up all the tools and upgrades here at ramcity.com.au. Thanks for watching.